the reason we're here for this glimpse of what's happening in the Gulf is to try to find and tag some of the really big guys, the whale sharks. Now, these animals are in this region to feed, and in the area the oil spill is, is an important feeding area for them. It's essential habitat, and right now we don't know how they're responding to this oil. It's an ocean full of whale sharks. I can't even count the number of fins. As soon as I think I have a number, six more pop up. We need to start tagging these guys and looking at their movements in relation to the oil to determine if indeed they are avoiding it and staying away or if they are actually going into it and, and succumbing to the oil. What's up, man? Hit it, man. How does that work? The Louisiana punch? Double duke. I called him Samson because he was the biggest one. He was the Mac Daddy. He was the big boy of the bunch. Two of those tags were spot tags. So they're, they're surface satellite tags. So the first thing we want to do is get online, let's see how they're reporting, how often they're reporting, all that. So hopefully we'll have hits from the day. As long as the, sat the satellite has to be overhead, and it comes overhead you know, three to six times a day, as long as those two things line up, it will send a signal. Ding, ding. And they'll say, here I am. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they, what happens if they encounter the oil, where they go with it, you know? The comment that some have said about the whale sharks in the Gulf of Mexico, that they're on death row, could be true. It could be that because of their feeding habits, they skim right at the surface where the oil accumulates. They're in harm's way.